If you're the owner of a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, you can't fail to have noticed two rows of black dots either side of the keyboard. These, everyone will tell you, are holes for the internal speakers. Over time, people often notice that one or more of these holes no longer looks black. It's as if some debris has become stuck in it. So, following their instincts, they use a brush to try and dislodge the debris, or they use a vacuum cleaner to try and suck it out. And instead of looking better, it inexplicably looks worse. It's as if more of the holes have debris in them than before. So what's going on? The thing is, these holes aren't holes at all. Since the release of the first Retina MacBooks over a decade ago, the majority of what we think of as holes for the speaker grill are actually just tiny dimples in the surface of the aluminium, with a spot of black paint inside them to make them look like holes. These specks of paint aren't adhered very well, and they often become dislodged. When you use a vacuum cleaner to try and suck out what you think is debris from the hole, you end up sucking out more of the paint specks from the surrounding area, revealing the shiny aluminium underneath and making it look even worse. On the M1 MacBook Air, for example, only this tiny area here in front of the USB-C ports are actual real holes. The rest are just dimples painted to look like holes because Apple decided that it looks nicer. So, if you notice that the holes on your MacBook look clogged up, there's a 90% chance that it's actually not a hole at all and you just lost a speck of paint. Never use a brush to try and clean your speaker grill and never use a vacuum cleaner. But what do you do if your Mac already looks like this? How do you make it look nice again? One thing you can try is to take a thin mechanical pencil with black lead and fill in each of the holes that has missing paint using the pencil. The holes are very small so it may help to use digital zoom on your cell phone to get a better view of what you're doing. And don't worry about going over the edges. You can just wipe your finger over the surface to remove any excess lead from the surface of the aluminium. After going over all of the holes with a pencil, it should look a lot better and the white spots should have disappeared. Hopefully in some future revision of the MacBook line, Apple will ditch these fake holes and just put holes where they actually need them. I don't really see any aesthetic benefit to having fake holes along the entire side, as opposed to just having real holes where they're actually needed. I hope this video helps, thanks for watching.